Now to a developing story from the northwest suburbs. A clerk at a gas station is found stabbed multiple times and he later died. The 24-year-old man was attacked at the Thornton's gas station on North Barrington Road in Streamwood. ABC 7's Eric Hong is there now live with late developments tonight. Eric? Ravi, more than 12 hours after police were called to this gas station, the area around it remains a crime scene. Police have no one in custody at this time. They have not released a description of any suspect. Throughout the day, we have seen investigators combing the scene for evidence using police dogs. Authorities say they were called to this Thornton's gas station on North Barrington Road around 4.30 this morning. Officers found the 24-year-old clerk bleeding from the chest. He had been stabbed several times. He was taken to St. Alexius Medical Center in Hoffman Estates where he was pronounced dead around 5.30. Authorities have not released the name of the victim, though a former general manager of the gas station described the young man as, quote, a great kid who will be greatly missed. Meanwhile, those who work and live nearby say they are stunned by the crime. This neighborhood is very quiet, so it's never happened before. And I live like five minutes from here, so I mean... I you know, around here, it never happened like this. I come here, we used to where I get gas, I get my car washed here all the time, and uh, everyone's pretty pleasant here, nice, friendly. So you would think that something like that's not going to happen around here. Customers at the gas station tell us there is no security glass inside the gas station to protect the clerk. This gas station is located within a retail plaza, and most of the other businesses within the plaza have been closed today as well uh, as this investigation continue, continues. Police have not offered any kind of motive for this crime. They have not said if any money was stolen from the gas station. Live in Streamwood, Eric Hong, ABC 7 News. Karen? All right, Eric, thank you.